That was way too close. How am I still alive? Okay, more like how am I the only one alive right now? I totally just threw one of those pink strikes in the water, didn't I? Yeah, I admittedly deserve that one. How many... Oh, hold that thought. We just got all Grizzco sloshers. This is the best Grizzco weapon in the game. Because it can destroy scrappers, steel heads, and fly fish without damaging them directly. This game is landing so hard. I don't like it. I was popping off a little bit there. True, that is the power of these Grizzco weapons. Come on, King Salmon it on the first wave. Let's see it. Oh, did I call it or did I freaking call it? Let's go, dude. It's time to show the horror Boros a thing or two with the power of these overpowered Grizzco weapons. A few moments later. Here we go. Oh my. <laughs> I can't believe that actually worked. The first time I defeated a horror Boros live was during an all rare weapon salmon run. Freaking amazing, dude. You love to see it. Nice try there, Flipper Flopper. I'm too quick on the draw. Either that or I just have a really overpowered stringer. Probably the latter at this point. I honestly don't remember offhand how many silver scales I have. Oh, this is the Grizzco Splatana. This is my least favorite Grizzco weapon in the game. Sure, its damage output is great, but it has horrible turf capabilities. And even with the huge distance that you get from the Grizzco Splatana's charging slash, you're still very likely to find yourself next to a bunch of Salmonids ready to attack if you don't control it properly. This is the most high-risk, high-reward Grizzco weapon in the game. <laughs> I somehow managed to hit that slamming lid from all the way over here. And we do this, and then that. Oh, let's go! I got the double shot there. I did not realize the Drizzler's balloon had that large of a hitbox. But whatever, I'll take it. Oh no. That was way too freaking close! Oh. Do not give me a heart attack like that again, game. Well, not literally, but still. You know what I mean. Nope. Too early. There we go. Get out of here. Another scrap. I don't care. I may have gotten splatted, but so did the scrap. There we go. Direct shot on the slamming lid. Wait a second. I'll get to that in just a second, but hold on. Okay. Why the frick are these golden eggs just hanging in the air? I didn't even know that was a thing. The only change that they really made to the Grizzco Charger between the first Salmon Run and this one, the Grizzco Charger in Splatoon 3 has much more rumble applied to it for some reason. I don't want my controller to be massaging my hands every time I use the Grizzco Charger. I just want to turn my brain off 
and destroy some salmonids with it for a bit, you know? You think we're gonna get the horror Boros this time? We'll see what happens. Hey, let's go! Grisco Slosher's piercing is so powerful, you can destroy two armored boss salmonids at the same time. Okay, that was way too freaking close. Dang! Only three slashes from the Grisco Splatana is enough to destroy the Scrapper. That's good to know. Oh, hi, Scrappers. You want to get splatted for me? Good, good. I love these Grisco weapons so much, dude. Get more golden eggs if you can, but it's also important to stay alive. Never mind. Forget I said anything. Important question. Waffles or pancakes? Uh, sorry, Blueberry. I like pancakes more. I did choose Team Pancakes in Splatoon 2 for that Splatfest. Although waffles are good, I will say this. Nothing beats a good waffle from a hotel waffle maker. Splatfest Law says waffles. Oh shoot, you're right. I completely forgot about that. Whoops. There we go. Wow. The Goldie didn't even make it all the way off of its spawn point. That's how quickly we destroyed it there. And I can't even... There we go. I actually was able to grab that somehow, but I took a lot of damage in the process. No! Don't you dare! Okay. Let's also destroy that stink. That was probably the closest near-death experience I've ever had in Sam. That was absolutely ridiculous. Oh, hey! <laughs> I didn't even know you could do that. That's pretty funny. I had heard you could ride on top of slamming lids, and I never got the chance to try it out for myself until just then. That was pretty fun. There you go. Not this time, Flipper Flopper. We have one. Yes, one single victory against a boss of Salmon in. But hey, sometimes you gotta embrace the little things. And that applies to pretty much anything in life, you know? Not only did I get splatted by a lesser Salmon in, they popped off on me. Alright, game. That just goes to show you, you should never... What the heck was that? The game just absolutely chugged right there. I've never seen that before. I won. Ah, the lesser salmon is ruined it. Wait, what? What the heck was that? You guys saw that, right? I bounced off of the big shot and the lesser salmon at the same time and ended up really far to the left from all the commotion. I mean, I know the Grisco Splatana is really inaccurate, but that's a little ridiculous. Come on, game. It's coming this way. Wait, what? We dealt a lot of damage to the Horror Boros there, but it still threw its Booyah Bomb too. That's so weird. And the game's gonna crash, isn't it? I knew it. $20 a year, everybody. 
That's just how it goes whenever you're playing Splatoon 3.